Hello, Scorpio. Welcome to your mid-month reading, which is going to be a bi-weekly reading the 16th through the, the, the end of August. And I will start doing these all the time for you now, now that I've made a lot of changes. So we are looking at the sun, moon, and rising sign of Scorpio. And if Scorpio is in Venus, we'll be looking at love at the end of this reading. But we are going to start off, it's a general reading, it's going to encompass everything, love, career, finance, family, whatever comes through me, I will share with you. We're going to start off with one card that is going to be the overall energy for the month and the card, the, the message that I'm getting for you, life is good. That's exactly what I heard, life is good. So let's take a look at that. We're going to look at each week, the first week, the second week, details, more and more and more. Okay. So we have the nine of swords and, you know, this is saying the message is life is good, but yet some of you are wondering, and did you really pick the right path? Is this the right career? Is this the right experience for you? Have I accomplished everything I want to accomplish? Do I have enough finances to pay my debt to do the things that I want to do? The Nine of Swords is saying you're staying up late at night. You might even be having dreams that are saying, pay attention to everything that's around you. Because with this Nine of Swords, following it is the Ten of Swords. So you may have gone through a lot of trauma. You might still be feeling the effects today. However, it is going to turn into the Ace of Swords. So this is a beautiful energy with the Ace, uh, the Nine of Swords where the anxiety has an opportunity to kind of, to, I was going to say melt away. Now there's a reason I was going to say that. I don't know what it is at the moment. We'll see how that plays out in the reading. But the word I heard is melt away. Now that could be crying. That could be through a lot of different things. But again, anxiety, this is dreams, nightmares, not being able to sleep, but yet life is good. So you might even, for some of you, be starting a brand new career path, a brand new life, a brand new relationship, even with your own self that is a little bit fearful, keeping you up. Is everything going in the right direction? So let's take a look at the first week and then we'll look at the second week. We have the 10 of Pentacles and the second week, or this would be the third week and last week of August, we have the moon card. So when it comes to the Ten of Pentacles, that's life is good, right? So something is coming in for you. This is a big payout. This is something you've been waiting for. Security, grounded opportunities around you. You can plant your feet in the ground, but yet there's still that anxiety around you. So the overall energy is more of a dream state. I feel for some of you, you actually are having dreams and you're going to recognize that by the second week. You have this beautiful 10 of pentacles. That 10 of pentacles is saying it's time for this big movement, this big shift. What are you going to do with this security? How are you going to take care of it? The moon is in the final week of August, which is that beautiful new moon that's coming in. And it is going to be amazing. Okay. And I am doing an energy shift reading at the end of the month for that reason, because it is going to be big. It's going to be huge, just like the month of August is for most of us. Overcoming the nine of swords, it may be an obstacle, but you're going to see why you are in this state of mind. You're going to see where this is coming from if you can't see it yet. I feel for some of you, this is a check. It is going to be an actual check, a payout coming in where life is good, but yet it holds this kind of scary feeling. Is it going to leave me? So let that go. Let it just roll off your back. And that would equate to the word melt away. Let go any fears of losing security around you. Let it melt away and let the moon show you the new moon at the end of August, show you your brand new path and how you're going to really use that 10 of pentacles in the future. Now, for some of you, this may be a situation where somebody passed away. Because again, I do see like a check. It's in writing. Um, for others, this is a family dynamic coming back around again. 
It may be concerning for you for this family gathering, this this uniting with family where you you want to feel secure with them, but yet something from the past may be coming back in your dream state. You're going to move right past it, let it melt right off your back because this is about an ending, a transformation. Now, for some of you, like I said, this is somebody that I feel is going to uh, move over to the transition to the other side, and they will leave with you an inheritance, and that will be coming in. So you just can't sleep because you love them, you miss them, you're worried. Don't worry, the moon is going to show you where, they're, where they are going. So this is about changing your complete life where life is good and using this beautiful pentacles to create something brand new. Now, you might feel a little bit, um, you know, indecisive at the end of the month because you are meant to follow the moon. When we follow the moon, this new moon, we can actually move into this beautiful state of using our third eye, our heightened senses, and that is exactly what you're going to do. The moon is actually underneath by my thumb. You can see the outline of the moon. It's a silhouette through the clouds, and this person needs to see between the lines, see the emotional mindset, see the stars around you, but using your third eye, not in front of you. You're going to know, and it's going to come to you in a dream state. It's going to be very, very beautiful, for some of you. This is being at an indecisive, I don't know what to do, but again, this is going to lead you right into September, okay? And by that first week of September, you're going to know exactly what to do to feel more security in your own life. So let's go ahead and look at any adversities. I know it sounds like, wait a minute, that's a lot of adversities, but there's so much more detail coming. Let's keep going. So you guys, you have two cards that flew out. Three, actually, you have three. Now, we have the Queen of Pentacles, the King of Cups, and the Prince of Swords. So when I was talking about family, there's a transitional phase going on with family around you. Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, and Libra, Gemini, Aquarius right there. That's an entire family where they're coming in. They may be giving you this. And for those of you where it is an inheritance, you're going to need to deal with this family. And you are the one who is delegating, dictating how it is handled, leaving you in this state of confusion. But for a lot of you, no matter what it is, it may be selling something, real estate, whatever it is, it is actually coming in as a six of swords and it was in reverse. So I read these, uh, oops, wrong, wrong one. This one goes here. <laughs> I read, I read them in positive and negative content, this particular deck. So that six of swords is the next one. And then we have the 10 of cups. All right. So you have to stay in balance within your own self in order to handle this situation. Whatever this beautiful new beginning is where life is good, okay, there is a little bit of that five of swords energy I feel is going to come from the family that's creating uh, the memories of what used to be. But they may not be like that now. They very well could be, but I feel for most of you, they're going to listen to you because you yourself are going to embrace this beautiful six of swords energy. That means you are in balance. You can stand on your tiptoe and stand up straight and tall. Look at the moon. Look at the stars, the sky, and align yourself in a complete up and down area centered in the middle. That means you have the ability to create that Ten of Cups abundance around you. You're going to distribute this beautiful uh, security, this beautiful money, the payout, the, the Whatever it is that's coming in for you, you will be distributing it in a very fair and just way. So don't worry about how you're going to do it. However, these are also the adversities around you. So the family is going to be, in your mind, the adversity, which is why you feel, you know, you can't sleep at night. How do I do this? The Six of Swords, you're going to know exactly what to do. Okay, you may not at the beginning... But 
as you work through this, as you fall asleep and wake up, definitely as the moon phase comes in, you will know exactly what to do and create harmony and balance in your family. Because family is very highlighted in this particular reading. Now this can be in any avenue of your life, you guys. This may be a job. This may be something else where you're dealing with co-workers that want their payout in a work environment and you're the leader. How do I divide a, a, you know, the ten pentacles amongst all the people? And you yourself need to make sure you're included in that bonus structure. Now, whatever that is, is going to be unique to each individual organization, each individual project that you're working on. But it is about fair and equal distribution. The decision is going to be yours and you will be making it and it will literally create a harmonic environment around you. So what we're going to do right now, Scorpio, is we are going to look at your Beyond card and then we're going to move into um, romance, all right? For those of you who are, because this, is, this also has to do with romance, so we're going to go a little bit longer on romance. When we're looking at this situation, for those of you who feel that you've already been through this, I feel most of you have not, all right? That's my gut. My voice is saying, mm -mm, this is going to be for a lot of you. So you have to be open-minded to whatever is coming and open-minded to these messages, Scorpio. Because there is something very profound getting ready to come in. Remember, life is good. That means you are going through a massive change course direction, a new path, new beginning, all of these incredible things creating the Ten of Pentacles and the Ten of Cups. So it's a beautiful, beautiful experience going to happen that might be a little bit scary. So if you've already been through that, let's see where you're going to go no matter what phase you are in. The Beyond card from my Ascending and Beyond collection is Collective Consciousness universal energy and disconnection so if you can see this pattern on here these are this is disconnection from family disconnection from your own self remember this six of swords is also about you aligning within your own self disconnecting from family and now they're coming back in disconnecting from a job environment uh, for a lot of you i feel you are moving right past it the disconnection was for a reason. It was to help you in this moment. Whatever this is coming in for you, okay, whatever level of life it is, Ten of Pentacles, the Ten of Cups, you have a brand new beginning. And it's because of the disconnection that's bringing it in. Some of you, this has to do with a career move where you are self-employed and you are going to completely disconnect from what you were doing and move into a whole new direction. It's kind of like cashing out the old and starting something brand, brand new. But again, the collective consciousness, the universal energy is saying, yes, baby, this is the right time. Feel it within your soul. Feel it within your solar plexus, your heart chakra, and absolutely identifying in that third eye section from that two of swords. So for those of you who don't want to watch the romance, I hope you have an amazing week. Thumbs up this video. Please let me know that you are supporting this channel. And you can go to my website and subscribe for the free newsletter or book your own service. Now we're going to take a look at and have a great next two weeks. Um, we're going to look at couples and then we're going to look at singles. We have the card of getting to know each other. So for those of you who have been disconnected in a romantic relationship, Scorpio, you guys are coming back around together. You're feeling more grounded and secure. Both of you are doing really well when it comes to your career, when it comes to your education, your own children, especially for those of you who have children, are actually doing well also. The disconnection was created even if you were going through hard times arguing You've already spoken with them. You already know you're meeting. So this is nothing out of the blue. All right. This is something you're planning 
This is something that was meant to happen and you've already got it in the works. I do feel travel may be there for those of you who have been separated. You have to travel to each other and I don't feel it's like right up the block. I feel it's actually like a few states over, 3-5. That's three, um, that would be like three to five hours away for some of you. Getting to know each other means that you're going to see who you are today, not who you were yesterday or at the time that you got in the relationship. But it's not only about you, especially those of you who have a family. The Ten of Pentacles is saying this is a grounded unit. This is a solid, totally solid family who through the disconnection becomes a happy and harmonic, uh, balancing, beautiful, it's beautiful. All right. So if you want to re-engage with your partner, if you've thought about it, remember the disconnection through the universal energy means we have a chance to actually fix and do course correction where life is good becomes part of the process. So for those of you who are single, let's take a look at what is coming in for you. And we have love yourself first. Love yourself first is the Ten of Cups, right? You can't have the Ten of Cups if you don't love yourself first. It can feel that way, but then all of a sudden it becomes disconnected. You yourself went through a huge awakening process where you discovered self-discovery of your own accomplishments, what you're good at, what you're bad at. Equally, you saw that in other people as well. You may have been an overgiver and created families or even dreamed about being in a permanent relationship, maybe pushing a little bit too hard, or those are the type of people that you picked. However, this time you're picking a situation is coming in for you because you have self-love. And remember why you went through this journey, why you've grown on a personal level. Because of this journey, you're bringing in the Ten of Pentacles and the Ten of Cups. You're starting a brand new beginning. And in this beginning, you will never forget self-love. This isn't about ego. This isn't about uh, greediness. This is about, I deserve the best. And your self-respect is going to make this individual person love you more than you have ever experienced in your life. And that is what is coming in for the zodiac, single zodiac sign of Scorpio. So you guys, please thumbs up this video. Have a great next two weeks and much love.